people over there in China even break the saying in the news that America, America's military is the one that started this epidemic with this coronavirus disease. And you, then you have uh, the Iranians saying the exact same thing, that the, the, the American military is the one that started this uh, disease. You see, they, they, uh, they, put, they even say that uh, that the America uh, military was the one that pushed, pushed this disease out. And you know, America, you know, is it, a very proud country, man. Babylon the Great is very proud. You know, in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 18, said, Pride go before destruction, and a heart of spirit before fall. And we know, and we all know that Babylon the Great pushes out their vibration. Of, of being proud, man. It's a very proud country. You see, you know, Babylon the Great does, doesn't believe that these plagues that are up on earth is going to visit Babylon the Great. You know, and it, we're going to be verse 3 again. It's Revelation 18 and 3. And why all the nations are being jumped off of wine? Because all the other nations uh, uh, have benefited. You know, and they want to be like America Babylon the Great because they believe in their heart that America Babylon the Great had it all going on, man. You know, the most powerful military in the world. You know, they, you know, the, uh, you know, you go up here and be successful. You know, except if you're a black, Latino, Native American, which are the Israelites. You know, any other, any other nation besides the Israelites, the true biblical Israelites, you see, and that's the vibration that they pushed out, and all these other nations come to America to, to get, you know, that they, they believe that they want to come over here and get the benefits, man. You see, and they and, and now they start to see that America, Babylon the Great, is falling. As we read in Revelation chapter 18, verse 2. It said, Revelation, uh, it said, America, well, Babylon the Great is fallen. And, you know, that's what it says. You know, we're going to read verse 3 again. You know, this time out in all the nations. It said, for all the nations have drunk of the wine and the wrath of the fornication. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of the earth are weak, are wax rich through the abundance of her delicacy. Meaning that every nation benefited off America, you know, what about, you know, you know, plain, what about uh, trades and goods, what about, uh, you know, you know, every country benefited from America, Babylon, the Great, you see, every country benefited, even China uh, benefited from America, Babylon, the Great, because most of the, the biggest consumer of Chinese products comes from Babylon, the Great, which is America, in America, biggest trade partner for America is uh, China. You see, you know, all the countries benefited off, off this, uh, you know, off Babylon the Great, off this great war. You see, in this great war, believe that it's not going to go down. And it, it's a lot of scripture that shows you that this, this great war, the door of Babylon, which is America, is going to go down, man. And, this is verse 4, Revelation 18, 4, and this is the written to our people. It said, and I heard another voice uh, from heaven saying, saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye, that ye receive not of her place. And the Most High is constantly calling out to our people to come out of the, the ways and the customs and the lifestyle that this uh, Western our society is on our people, but yet our people were still trying to hold on to the cover and unto the ways of this society, man, and saying that they're all, oh, you know, uh, this, this, you know, this, you know, America on the grid is not going to be destroyed. You see, America, you know, America, you know, I'm proud to be an American. You know, I'm an American. You see, and that's the mindset of our people. They don't believe that this place is going to be destroyed. But we got news for you. The prophets and, and the men of the Lord got news for you. This place is going to be destroyed via Dr. Nuclear Missile Plan. It, it's being destroyed right now inside and out. You can see that the 
coronavirus is just taking over. It's country. You see that the earth is gone from the country. You see that the NBA has, has to cancel her game, uh, has to cancel his game. You see the Major League Baseball and the, and the hockey games is being canceled. And you, and you see a lot of the concerts is being canceled. You see Donald Trump declared a national emergency uh, yesterday. And you see that all fights for Europe are uh, canceled from the United States for 30 days. All these things that are going on, this is showing the downfall of uh, this society, the downfall of America Babylon the Great. Why, why is America Babylon the Great a fall? This verse 5 is going to tell you, for her sins have reached unto heaven, and Yahweh has remembered her iniquity. If you can give a quick scripture, hold off on that for a minute. I'm going to go back to Revelation chapter 18. And I'm going to go ahead and get uh, Jeremiah the 51st chapter. You know, now before I get Jeremiah the 51st chapter, let me get Isaiah chapter 14. Real quick. I'm going to go ahead and get uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 14 real quick. And then we'll get a quick verse out of there. And, and this is uh, Isaiah chapter 14. 14 verse 4, it reads, Then thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon, who ruling over Babylon. Babylon is great. You know, he's not even so called white man ruling over Babylon the great. And then, how has the oppressor ceased? It goes to see the sea. You know, and ask the question, how does, how did it go to see the sea? Because if we read in Revelation chapter 18, verse 5, but the house caused it to cease because they because the sins of Babylon the Great had reached unto him. And Yahweh will have remember her difficulty. You know, what's the difficulty that Babylon the Great has done? As, as you uh, made her to produce, uh, you read in the report that, that uh, China saying that the U.S. military is the one that started this coronavirus, started this epidemic. And, and, and they, and, uh, he had Iran did exactly the same thing. He had one of the brothers, you know, from this that I listened to, he said they got caught with the uh, patent, patent uh, uh, you know, how to make the coronavirus. They got caught with the formula on how to do it, you see? And Babylon the Great, it got to be remembered for its sins and for its difference for what it had done. I'm going to read uh, Isaiah chapter 14, verse 4 again. And thou shalt, say, thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased the golden city ceased? Yahweh hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the ruler. And you see that the Most High is doing that by bringing all these plagues here in Babylon the Great, the same plagues that they brought upon China and, and Iran, thinking that thinking that they're going to cripple their economy and give them a reason to go in and take take over their resources. The Most High is allowing them plagues that happen over there in China and Iran and in all other parts of the world. Come, come over here in Babylon the Great. You know, that's how it's stripping Babylon the Great of its power, of its wealth, and of its great influence on the world. And, and a lot of people are starting to see America for what it really is. You know, they see that it is a wicked country and it, and it is a wicked society that you have a by shipping how shot on the judge. And why is they going to be judged? You know, for the sins and difficulties that it had done against the most high chosen people. You know, and who's ruling of uh, Babylon the Great? He saw Edom. You know, in, in, in Malachi chapter 1, verse 3, it said that he hated Esau. And, and he laid in mountains, mountains, mountains and, and uh, they, uh, you know, I'm going to get it real quick. I'm, I'm over here about to butcher it. Let me, let me just go ahead and get it. You see, let me, you know, let me quick. You know, quote unquote being lazy, go over and get the scripture. You know, and, and uh, why did and you probably like, why does this have to uh, do with uh, uh, 
Babylon and Rick because you got to understand that uh, that Esau Edom he ruled he he, he ruled in Babylon the Great. That's his major empire. He is here in Babylon the Great, the Lord of Babylon, which is America. This is Malachi chapter one, verse one. It said, "The burning of the word of Yahweh to Israel by Malachi. I had love you, said Yahweh. Yeah, yeah, you said wherein thou hast loved us. It's not Esau, Jacob's brother, said Yahweh." Yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage wait for the dragon, for the dragon, the dragons of the wilderness. It, it, and it goes on to verse four. It says that when, well, as Edom said, we are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said Yahweh of hosts, they shall build, for I will throw down. And they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom Yahweh had indignation forever. And, and who ruled over Babylon the Great? Esau, even so-called white man. And how did they get their riches and, and their abundance of wealth off the backs of you black Latino Native Americans, off your forefathers? You know they went and, and with the help of Edomites, not so like the help of uh, you know Hamites, you know, which is the so-called Africans. You know, have them around and our forefathers up and put them on slave ships and brought them over here to America, Babylon the Great. We know that our people got scattered throughout the four corners of the globe because our forefathers broke the first covenant with the Most High. But, but you see that, that Esau Edom benefited, as well as the other nations too. They benefited off the downfall of our people, man, especially here in Babylon the Great. You know, and the scripture, it, also another scripture said they held us fast and they refused to let us go, man. They refused to let us go. Why they don't want to let us go? Because the scripture also said in the Old Testament, if he did, uh, you know, you got the most high chosen people in your hand, you know, you're you going you go, you go, you go, uh, worthy to be put to death. You see, and we're found in the hands of this devil, man, of Esau, even we're found in the hands of this wicked society. And they and they don't, and they hate us, but they refuse to let it go. Why? Because they benefited off our downfall. They benefited off us. And they benefit, especially in the sports uh, world. You know, who, who, who's mo uh, majority dominating the sports? You know, the Israelites, the so-called black, Latino, Native American, man, they benefit off us. And they know that a lot of people are not gonna wanna go watch, you know, Esau's sports, man. The majority of people who uh, sports they watch it, they love to see Jake because Jake is the most high chosen people and Jake is is more more athletic, man. You know, but what all this has to do with Babylon the Great? Babylon the Great has benefited off, off this, man. They benefited off the most high chosen people. And that's the reason why they they are getting judged. Because they said reach unto heaven and Yahweh had to remember her difference. And, and slowly but surely, the Most High is ripping the hinges off Babylon the Great, little by little. You see, now you got the coronavirus that's taking place. Now, now you got uh, you know these, you know these the uh, the birth of Babylon is being is uh is gone. And then on top of that, you got you you even go to stores now. You got people that are going in and they buying, you know, they stop. Stockpiling things out of the stores, man. And this is just the beginning. You know, as you read in uh, Matthew chapter 24, verse 8, you know, the, all these things are the beginning of sorrow, man. You know, and all these things are the beginning of sorrows here in Babylon the Great. This is just a prelude on, on the things that are going to come because Babylon has people here in Babylon the Great. You know, they haven't seen anything yet. You see, they already running and stockpiling things off the shelf. And, and this is not even, this is really, we in Jacob's trouble, as it said in I, uh, Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 5 to 7. But this ain't nothing compared to what's really going to take place, man. And, and people want to, even our storehouses and warehouses, and, and this is just, just the coronavirus. You can just imagine what will happen when the Most High really, really, really start to turn up the heat, man. When things are really going to start uh, 
come into full effect. Why? Because because that, that you know these people have to pay, man. Especially in Babylon the Great. You know, Babylon the Great has has a, a benefited, you know, off our, off the people of Israel, man. And they know that they have benefited. And they benefited, you know, off of these things, man. You know, they benefited. And, and they've been in comfort for so long. They th and they walk around in great pride. Even even Yahweh shot, you know, say, you know, thou Capernaum, which is out thyself to heaven, shall be brought down to hell. And in and, and America, Babylon the Great is like Capernaum, man. You know, they, they walk in great pride. You know, they walk they exalt themselves, man. They building this space for us. Why they doing that? Because they believe in their heart, they, they be in a space for us, that they believe that they want to take down the mighty Yahweh and it's an angelic host of angels. But those things true, we already know how that's going to end. That's going to end very beautiful for these Edomites, man. They gonna, it gonna, it's going to end very beautifully for, for these wicked two-thirds and these other nations, man. That, that's that's going to fight against the Most High, and they're going to lose terribly. And, you know, they're going to lose terribly. You, you know, especially Babylon the Great, because the scripture tells us that, and I'm, I'm, you know, let me get there real quick. And this, and this is going to be Revelation. You know, this is going to be a uh, Revelation of, uh, uh, you know, Salak, give me one moment. This is going to be Revelation chapter 17, because you're going to understand that. All these, all these nations are going to turn their back on Babylon the Great. You see, they're going to, they're going to turn their back on, on Babylon the Great. You see, they, they're going to turn their back on, on Babylon the Great because they, you know, they're going to, they're going to really see their wickedness, man. They're going to see how wicked that that these people here are here in Babylon the Great, man. You know, and that's another good chapter to read. This goes into Babylon the Great. And, and uh, this is a, uh, and this is uh, Revelation chapter 17, verse 15. And he said unto me, the waters which thou saw of where the whole city, which is talking about Babylon the Great, which is a miracle, by peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. And he said, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her fire, in which these other nations are going to shoot all their nuclear missiles over her in Babylon the Great. And it's basically going to be destroyed by 200 million ICBMs in the, con in the continental ballistic missiles. And that's going to show that that's, that's the judgment of this place Babylon the Great from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh because of all the wickedness that it has done and, and and them killing the prophets man and them you know making mockery of the prophets and killing and messing with the most high chosen people. The scripture said he he that touches you touches the apple of, of his eye. And these other and these now the other nation we here in Babylon the Great where the, all twelve tribes are oppressed together man. You know, all these, you know, Babylon the Great got to pay for a lot of wickedness that, that it has done. And for anybody trying to come on the comment board and trying to trying to defend Babylon the Great, it, it death to your ass as well, man. You can't defend, you can't defend this war, man. It, well, you can, but get what? And I pray that you be destroyed right along with this war. Because, because get what? This, because this country, it, this country doesn't give a brass ass about you anyway. You see, this country is, is found upon wickedness, and, and and you people, especially you wicked ass two thirds jakes, y'all y'all love this society because because get what you love wickedness. The scripture said for our people they they quit to do evil, but to learn righteousness or to do good, you know they had no knowledge. You know they had no understanding. Why? Because they, they love this society. They love the wickedness that this society is pushed. You know, and, that, and that's the mindset of our people. They love wickedness, man. They love wickedness at a high level. And, and you can see it time and time again. You know, they don't care about anything long. They can have the twerk videos. 
as long as long they could uh, go to their clubs and and have their mirth and have their drink, as long they can have they can have their booty popping music and all this other nonsense. Our people don't really give a damn about the law, statute, and commandments of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh and this and that all part of this vibration that Babylon the Great, A.K. America, had push. You know that reason why you got these wicked ass rappers, man. They go in and push out this this negative vibration. You see, they push out this negative vibration. Uh, you know, to destroy our people. And guess what? They're going to have to pay a heavy heavy price. And, and, and also, especially these entertainers and these actors, man. Especially on Jay, that's why you see a lot of them being destroyed, man. You know, that's why you hear about a lot of deaths uh, in, 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 in this, in, among our people, on Jay, because the scriptures tell us that judgment is going to start first within the house of your house by Jim House Shout, which is you Israelites, you black Latino Native Americans, who continue to help Esau push his wickedness upon the face of the globe, man, here from here. And from Babylon the Great. You're gonna have to pay a heavy judgment for that, man. You're not gonna get off. You're not gonna get off scotch free. And you and for those who trying to hang on to Babylon the Great, you're gonna be destroyed right along with this whore, man. And, and these other nations, they starting to see how what America for what it truly really is, man. It's a wicked ass whore, man. That don't give a damn about nobody but itself, man. And, 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 and uh, Babylon the Great, they don't give a damn about Israel anyway. They don't give a damn about you black Latino Native Americans. They constantly oppress you each and every day with, you know, with their damn philosophy, man. You know, last how you first fired, you see, then, then, you, then you, uh, you get turned down if you're trying to buy for loans or anything. These, these devils constantly keep you at the bottom, man. And, 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 and our people, they're so stupid, man. They so stupid and they still trying to hang on to this side. You know, stop about their rap because, you know, our people need to wake up, man. They need to wake the hell up and realize that this society is not meant for them. And our people is just a book of seminario when it said a rise in the park, but this is not your place to rest. When it talks about a rise in the park, it, it, we know that we have to wait on your house by a shaking out a shot to take us back home. But when we talk about rising the park, it's talking about in a, in a spiritual sense, man, you know, you know, come, uh, getting away, you know, from, from the philosophy that America loves to push. You see, America loves to push our wickedness, man. And, and these other nations see that. And let me get, I'm going to read that again, Revelation chapter 17 to 16. And in ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. For Yahweh had put, put it in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and to give the kingdom unto the beast, unto the words of Yahweh shall be fulfilled. And you start seeing these prophecies, which are the words of Yahweh by Shem and Shah, it's being fulfilled, man. And you're seeing all these other nations, they turning their back on this whore because they see, they see the true wickedness of what this whore is pushing out, man. And this whore has reigned upon the kings of the earth. And how they how do they do that? With their philosophies, with their doctrines. And you got military bases all over the globe because Esau had, you know, he used his sword. And, and, let me, and, and, and to put in perspective, we're going to give, I believe, Revelation chapter 6 and verse 4. And, and this, you know, and, and this, and you have to understand that. It said, and this is Revelation 6 and 4. It said, there went out a note of horse which read, which talked by Esau Eden, and power was given unto him to set their own to take peace from the earth, and that, and that they should kill one another, and were given unto him a great sword. And who and who's uh and, and how did Esau get all these nations? How did Esau eat them? Because Babylon the Great. America, he starts Babylon the Great through bloodshed, you know, by the force of the sword, man. You know, and America has been founded upon the blood of Israelites. And to back it up, and, and, and the Most High is going to require 
all the blood that has been shed uh, uh, upon, the, upon the earth. You see, it, it, it's gonna be numbers 35 and 33. And America has a lot of blood they have to pay for, man. And, and, th and this is what the scripture says. It says, so, so ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood is defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. And who shed the blood? Esau Edom. And who shed a lot of blood uh, in these other nations? America, Babylon, the Great. Because if you don't cooperate with their philosophies, uh, you don't do exactly what they said, they send their military over there and they topple government, man. They top topple government. It, 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 and they set their companies up over there to give in to the demands of, of this great war, which is Babylon the Great. And, and all these nations, and especially, East, uh, especially uh, Israel, is going to get payback, man. And, and they're going to get, and these other nations going to get payback by shooting their missiles over here and, and destroying this place. But the Israelites, consistently like black, Latinos, Native Americans, and especially the elect is going to get their payback in the kingdom of heaven when when these when these devils are going to be un, under the Israelites, man. When they you know, when the Israelites rule over all these nations, man. Especially Esau, and that's when they are going to get their payback, and they might get their payback on this side, you know, get and, and die with spiritual power. You see, but you know, that neither here nor there. This is continue on in Revelation chapter 18, verse 6. It said, Reward her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her double according to her worth. In the cup which she had filled, filled to her double. And you see that these other nations are, are, are about to pay back um, America Babylon the Great double, man. Because why? Because America Babylon the Great had done their treasures with the other nations, man. You know, they they got their riches according to the Ecclesiastes, the Ecclesiastes, by the book of Sabah, chapter 10, verse 8. It said, by unrighteous, uh, you know, unrighteous dealers, man. They got this stuff by unrighteous uh, dealers. And that reason why, uh, Second Ezra 69 said, Esau is going to be the end of the world, and Jacob is, is the beginning of it that follows. And, 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 you know, all these scriptures are coming out, man. And all the truth is coming out. And, and uh, the reason why America, Babylon, the Great has to be destroyed because of all the sins of iniquity that it has done against the Most High Chosen People. You know, we read Revelation 18, 5. It said, For you and Howard have remembered us uh, 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 sins. And I'm going to read that again. It said, For her sins that reach unto heaven. And Yahweh has have to remember her iniquities, man. And, and, and you know, they, this, this place, Babylon the Great, sins that reach unto Yahweh. And, 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 and you know, Yahweh remember her iniquity. Yahweh remember all the shit that this country has done against its chosen people. Especially, uh, you know, when he saw it, they hung our forefathers up on trees. And they and they lynch our forefathers. And they book break our forefathers. And they, they cast our babies over them in, 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 uh, in a swamp for alligator bay. He remember all this stuff, man. You know, that's the reason why Esau and Edom, they don't like to talk about their history. Because they know their history is founded upon bloodshed, man. They know that. They know that their history is founded upon. That's the reason why if you go out and you say something about their history, they get mad and upset. And you can see them demons start to come out of them. Why? Because they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear how they got this country. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to hear how they got their country off the bloodshed of the Gadites, which is the uh, Native American man. You know, they went in, into their land in the Native American, which are the Gadites, and made peace treaties with with these uh with Esau Eden. And they broke every last peace, uh, peace treaty and they slaughtered over a hundred million Native Americans. And, 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 this, and this land cannot be cleansed but by him, by them who, who shed their blood, man. We already read that in Psalms chapter 35, number, that's like in Numbers chapter 35, verse 33 goes into that, man. 
they got to pay for the wickedness that it had done. You know, there's no getting around there. America has to get paid, has to pay for the things that they have done. And, 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 and most high is just bringing their recompense upon Babylon the Great. You see? It says, and this is Revelation chapter 18, verse 7, it says, How much she had glorified herself and lived deliciously, and so much torment and sorrow give her. She said in her heart, I see the queen, basically, the queen is a harlot, and damn no widow, and shall see no sorrow. They're, they're walking in their pride, they're thinking that they can't be touched, man, with these plagues that are coming up on the earth. It, you know, these things happen around the earth, man. But here in Babylon the Great, aka America, they believe that they can't be touched. You know, they said they ain't gonna see no sorrow, they ain't gonna see no death, they ain't gonna see no famine, they ain't gonna see that coronavirus, they ain't gonna see them, them rivers gonna start turning to blood, blood, they ain't gonna see them bunkers that gonna hit over here in America, they ain't gonna see no famines and pestilences, pestilences and all these things that's going upon the earth. You know, the scripture's gonna say otherwise, uh, Revelation chapter 18 and 8, it reads, Therefore shall her place come in one day, death, mourning, and famine, and she shall be early burned with fire. For strong is Jehovah's power who judge her. And Jehovah's power is going to judge her, you know, with death, mourning, and famine. And, and you already heard, uh, read about, I believe, two years ago, that the Most High had flooded the Midwest. You know, cause some blood back, uh, bread baskets to lock it, to be sure. You know, most high is just in this place, man. If, if, if for those who doesn't see it, the most high don't want you to see it, man. Uh, Revelation chapter 13, verse 9 says, He that had the ear, let him hear. And, and, and that verse goes down say, He that needed it to captivity shall go into captivity. And he that kill it with the sword must be killed with the sword. He hears the patient in the faith of the saints. Who are the saints? Are uh, Israelites, man. Israelite is faithfully being patient and waiting on the, the return of your house child to take these damn devils out of power, man. To take down the damn society, man. And they don't think that they're gonna be taken down. And we're gonna read Revelation 18 to 8 again. It says, therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, and she shall be early burned with fire. For strong is Jehovah's power who judge her. And Jehovah's power is going to judge her very strongly. You see, he, he already doing that now, but you're going to start really seeing it on the grand scale, man. You know, the coronavirus, this going through, uh, the coronavirus, this is, this is, it's, it's just going to be light work. Wait till really, things are really starting to pop off. You see, the most high is going to, is going to do some work here in Babylon the Great, man. He's going to do a great and mighty work here. And, and all these nations are going to shoot they, they thermonuclear missiles over here, the ICBM, and they're going to destroy this place. You see? And, and verse 5 says, And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived traditionally with her shall bewail her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. And these other nations, and they're going to see that, that, uh, that they believe that they made a mistake when they destroyed Babylon the Great. Why? Because all these nations have benefited of Babylon the Great. But the Most High, Yahweh, Shem, Hashem, is going to put His Spirit upon them to destroy this place. Why? Because this place has to be judged for its wickedness and for the things that, that they have done against the Most High Chosen People. If, and you, and when you understand, you, you understand that uh, uh, that uh, the, the, this place has to be judged, man. It, it, it has to be judged for for the wickedness that they have done against the Most High chosen people. And, and the Most High is exposing uh, Salak. Excuse me. Most High is exposing these, these people for who they are. Especially about the Andre and the things that they have done. This is Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. And these people are going to be taken down here about the Andre. It reads, Come down, Mr. Lockett. 
I'm reading again, uh, Isaiah chapter 47, verse 1. It said, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is there is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt for thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the millstone and grind meal or cover thy lots. May may bear the lead or cover the thigh pass over the river. Thy thy naked shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I would not, I would take vengeance, and I would not beat thee as a man. And this is your how about this is your how about Shemal Shatam. It's saying that the daughter virgin of Babylon, which is America, aka Babylon the Great, is going to be set on the, it's going it's going it's going to be thrown down just like the perennial. It's your how shall quote it. Said that thou Capernaum, which is out thyself in heaven, thou should be brought down to hell. And in the and this nation Babylon the Great, walking great pride and the most high is gonna cast Babylon the Great down. And they pray for it that they dog that's gonna stop your house out, that's gonna be cast down. You see? And and the most high is making uh, is uncovering their nakedness by uh, by allowing the by allowing this truth to come out, man by allowing their shame for history to come out. You know, as the say the scripture, you know, shame for, shame for spew and shit cover thee. You know, roughly paraphrase. Why? Because of all their history and all the stuff that they doing is coming to the light, man. And, and you, like I said before, you got the Chinese exposing the American military saying that they were the one that started this epidemic. You see? All that shame for spew is coming out. And that's the reason why this place America Babylon the Great has to be destroyed, man. Because of the wickedness that it, it, it pushed throughout all the globe. You see? And, and all these nations are going to be crying because they're going to realize that they live deliciously off Babylon the Great, man. You see? It's in Revelation chapter 18, verse 10. It says, Stand up far off for the fear of a torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city. For in one hour is thy judgment come, and the merchant of the earth shall weep for her, weep and mourn over her, for no man buy their merchandise anymore. And that's the reason why you see it that, that this uh petrol dollar is being rejected. Why? Because they realize that this fiat money ain't no good, man. And and the merchant and, and the merchant, all the people that trading with them, you know, they're not gonna buy miracle merchandise. Why? Because they, they are tired of this wickedness. You know, they you know you see that America has pushed throughout all the globe, man. Everything that they bought, everything that they had for, for America, you know, they gonna stop buying and they're gonna stop trading with America. They're gonna reject the, the American currency and they're gonna go about trying to want to have their own currency. And in America, in America, aka Babylon the Great, knows all this. And, and, and this is the last scripture, y'all with it. And why is it that uh, uh, America, Babylon, Babylon the Great, has to be destroyed? This is Revelation chapter 18, verse 20. It, re it reads, and this is for you, for the elect of Israel, this is encouragement for you. It reads, Rejoice over her, thy heaven, and ye are holy apostles and prophets. For Yahweh has avenged you on her. And who, who, who's a uh, uh, Yahweh vision here on Babylon the Great? All the prophets and all the apostles that are here in Babylon the Great, man. And, and he's going to avenge you on her because of all the bloodshed and all the things that they have done against the prophets, against the men of the Lord. You know, talking shit to the men of the Lord, taking down their comments. You know, uh, uh, put, giving uh, the prophets and the apostles and prophets of the true men of Lord hell here in Babylon the Great. And all that blood that they shed of, of, of uh, you know, the righteous prophets is going to be required, man. You know, it's, it is going to be required. You know, I could go into more and more scriptures upon Babylon the Great. But, you know, they, you get the point, man. This place gonna have to go down, and it's gonna go down hard. Why? Because Yahweh Shemah Shah has remembered her sins, and 
remember uh, remember her sins and you know he remember her iniquities. You know, I know I pushed you. That was Revelation 18 and 5. You see, these other nations, uh, not the other name of Babylon the Great, gonna have to pay. They gonna have to pay. Because they are the ones that are holding, you know, the, the twelve uh, the twelve tribes of Israel in captivity and they're pressing them all together, man. You know, and they gonna have to pay. And they're gonna pay here to help the cost. So that's it for the lesson. I pray that this lesson will edify. I want to call the Hoya, Yahweh, by Shem Yahushah, by Shem Kakadosh, double honor to the apostle, the elders, and prophets, and never respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the world worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon, Yahweh, with it. Shout a bomb, shout a bomb, block it. A bomb, 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 a b